Wow. Absolution? Sometimes that spell check, yeah, it can get you in trouble. Or maybe it was a subliminal message referring to receiving, well, absolution for my bridge of blaspheming ways. <laughs> Either way, I think we I think we need to get rid of this thing. Okay, uh, let's yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can just cross that absolution out. There we go. Okay, there, yeah. And uh, let's get a nice little colorful pen. Uh, purple's happy. Let's do that. And try to write absolution if we can. It, oh, damn. That's just horrific. Uh, let's just go to the next side. May, may, yeah, whew. Yeah, that is much clearer, that's for sure. And uh, we'll, we'll get out of the danger area, and we're going to click that laser point instead. <laughs> okay, clip absorption two. What will we be going over today? Well, we, of course, you know, we're into redundancy equals retention, so we will have a quick recap, I'm a recap of clip the first clip absorption with its highlights. Uh, but what we will be going over today, yeah, we spoke about this and teased on clip first clip absorption, HCP, NT, and bitum hierarchy. That's what we're going to go over. Nice. Okay. Now, uh, the first clip, though, yeah, clip absorption, yeah, it was a long ace video wasn't it uh yeah but you know this was encouraged by our content manager heather and rightfully so it gave us the opportunity to encapsulate many of our lessons now clip absorption two not clip absolution uh we will be using the same format we had in the first clip absorption to give you the full picture uh well, of most of all the rest of our lessons that we've done. Okay, so we got our warm up. Yeah, here's our warm up here. And that's basically, hey, where are we going to be going with this clip? Then, of course, we'll have our clip. And that is where it's going to put the concepts into action. You get to see it live during bridge play. And then we have our warm down. Uh, and that's just, hey... Put a smile on your face as you enjoy some of the highlights that we just experienced. Mm -hmm. Now, clip absorption two, will it be geared? Well, will it be a long ace one too? <laughs> well, we shall see. Either way, Enjoy the fun roller coaster ride as we start things off with the recap of last week's first clip absorption. Yeah, okay. Trick Taking Games, your YouTube channel, is geared primarily to newbies and novices of bridge and other trick taking games. Hmm, okay, well, our mission is to ease you all. Y'all, wow, got that draw going, into being good social card players. We are all about, yeah, nosh. We promote brunch and bridge. Create a social bonding atmosphere while playing cards. Just, yeah, just have fun. Now, the catalyst to this, our YouTube channel, Tricks Taking Game, was our wonderful redhead stepmom, Elaine, who has been playing bridge for over seven decades. And is, well, she's given us an additional way to bond with her. Uh, when I say us, I'm speaking of myself and our content manager, Heather, my sister. Uh, and hopefully, as we're going through these lessons and these clip absorption and clip absorption too, uh, you will find it a good way to bond with others 
also. Okay, what did we share in the first clip absorption? Well, organism hierarchy, what a trick is, lucky 13, win-lose demeanor, very important, high-low, <laughs> inflatable wrench, trump cards, and trickster, do 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 trickster cards. Okay, well, uh, yeah, Glenn, don't, don't, no, Glenn, don't, don't, yeah, don't say it. I, I know, I'm sorry, I must say it. If that bullet slide that you just saw was confusing in any way, go back to the first clip absorption, for it is the predecessor of this vlog clip absorption too. Uh, you know what? Hey, I think I have a helpful saving hint for you. <laughs> yeah, as you go back, just go ahead and just watch the video clips. And if you're still a little bit confused on the bullet points or a bullet point, then go to the warm down portion of that particular clip and to lessen your confusion. Uh, afterwards, come back to us so we can all be on the same page and working together seamlessly. Okay, everyone back? We would like to give you an example of some bridge bantering. This upcoming clip is regarding uh, a Hawaiian cruise ship experience. Yeah, this was the conversation going on, bantering. And yes, this clip is brought to you by, brought to you by, our wonderful Joser from the POW Creatives. Yes, if interested, please click uh, the link below this vlog for his services. Uh, yeah. Well, well, North, you had Dell, so who deals next? I do. East. Always clockwise. South. Okay, so how many cards am I dealing out? 13. Did uh, they have Kwanzaa on the ship, too? Yes, because you said that they had oh, New Year's, they had Christmas, right. and they had they Hanukkah. They did celebrate Kwanzaa. They okay. did actually celebrate so Kwanzaa. So I'm thinking they celebrate everything they on the ship, and that them would all, be wonderful. All different religions and beliefs. I think that's uh, beautiful. That's what's really it's nice very about important. It. Yeah. I mean, you know, their big thing is they do Christmas. I mean, they put all the big Christmas decorations up, but they have in the Maybe itinerary anything you can go to. Or Hanukkah lights and... They did that. Yeah, this was a clip. I like that little bantering. It's, it's like socially as light as a feather as we going through playing cards and having fun. Now, now this next clip, you get to really see the noshing going on here. It's a true brunch and bridge extravaganza. Okay. okay, but not necessarily so. Oh, she has the option. That's it. Oh, oh okay. No. So but I if could not, say then it goes pass? to the person to her left. Exactly. Mm. So South okay. has the option, such as Nora said, to be the first bidder. But if you pass that option, it goes over to West. Okay. Now, if South does pass and it goes to West, can West pass? Yes. And and right. then if it goes all the way around, do we deal? That's when we deal. That's when we deal again. Okay. But each time that someone does a pass, especially at the very beginning, if South passes, then the first bidder is possibly Wes. But then if she passes, then it goes to you. You become the possible person that are over. It comes back to me, then East. So in other words, the first bidder is the person who actually makes a bid. So when you make the bid. Yeah. So because it goes round. I'm doing the sound effect from the... <laughs> when it goes around... Can you, go on, can you deal as fast? <laughs> yeah. no. Oh, you might want to start looking at your cards and put them in order at the same yeah. time. So when, it, when you go around, because I thought that it goes around three times, or no, it just goes around till three people say pass. After, after the last... So it bitter. could just keep going and going and going. Oh, I've seen it go... Yeah, I've seen it go up the ladder quite a bit before. Um, but, yeah. 
So it's not a little hard. Four people have normal. You you reveal. Oh yeah. Or my hand. If, is, if four deal. if four at the very beginning. Oh okay. At the very okay. beginning, if there's four passes in a row, then yes, then it, it, it will it will definitely reveal. reveal. Um, so, you, so you remember organize? Yes, I'm slow. I'm and we're doing. So it's do your organize it with spades. That's the that's the bidding hierarchy. So spades, diamonds, clubs, hearts. Yeah, that's that's but, in your but hand. No, no, in say that hand. one more time. Spades, uh, spades, diamonds, no. hearts. Mm -hmm. Spades, hearts, mm -hmm. clubs, diamonds. And really, when you think about it, it's really just switching. These last two. Those two. That's okay. all it really is. Okay. Just so you can see them the better. Second bookends. Yes, the so bookends. That's all I remember. So she remembers. She remembers the hierarchy by the bookends. Mm -hmm. And when we're organizing, just look a little bit over. Okay. Yeah. Spades, hearts, diamonds. Empty spades, hearts, diamonds, and gloves. <laughs> Pete <Pete-O's> Elwes, <done. laughs> That's right. Okay. Well, we definitely got the clear. Clarification on the first bidder. It is not necessarily the dealer. The dealer has the first option to bid. But hey, you know what? It can be passed uh, to the left, to north here, to make a decision. Well, you know, maybe north doesn't really have a, that good of a hand. So they're going to go ahead and say, you know what? I'm going to pass over to east. And then east now has the option to be the first bidder. You know what? I don't like my hand either. I'm gonna go ahead and give it to South. Well, South looks at their hand and they're going, you know, I know West, North, and East passed, but I don't like my hand either. <laughs> now, FYI, during that first round, if all players pass that First bid option, guess what happens? Yes, a fresh deck will be shuffled and dealt. Now, now we also touched on the differences, bringing back our friendly pointer here, uh, the differences between organism in hierarchy, bid them hierarchy, and organize them in your hand that you're holding. And really, they're very similar. We got spades here, spades here, hearts here, hearts here. Now, then we have kind of the switcheroo happening over here on the bottom where we have here is diamonds and then diamonds are the bottom and then the bottom here of the bidum hierarchy is a clubs but up here it's in third position okay okay and really it's the reason why it's done this way is yes the bidum hierarchy is always going to be this bidum hierarchy but when you're looking in your hand if you put two like hearts and diamonds next to each other it's confusing it's hard to distinguish right there so what do we do yeah we go black and red specifically spades hearts clubs and diamonds that's what we will definitely do and oh, wait, 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 Glenn, what, what, what about those letters here above those suits here in the Bidum hierarchy? What is that? No Trump. Now, we did learn, especially this from Cliff Absorption, the very first one, that Trump is synonymous with the wild suit cards that we may pick during the bidum portion so for instance if spades was chosen as the wild suit when we play a spade it basically is a trump card so a trump card is a wild suit card so what is a no trump well that is no wild cards and essentially it means that all the cards are united 
and created equal. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love that. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, I think I know a way we can instill NT and the Bidham hierarchy. Mm, it's a little obnoxious, but go along with it. Bidding is not so hard when we simplify. There's a hierarchy. Let's take it from the top. The time and no space, hearts, diamonds, and clubs, and no spades, hearts, and diamonds, and clubs. It's wise. Empty space, hearts, diamonds, and clubs. 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 Empty space, hearts, and diamonds, and clubs. Empty space, hearts, diamonds, and clubs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, I put this little confetti in there because, you know what? It was obnoxious, I have to admit. You got to watch the bouncing ball. But uh, going back just for a second here, I hope that you got a good view and what Bidham hierarchy is. NT spades, hearts, diamonds, and clubs is the Bidham hierarchy. Okay, okay, you're not, that's enough of that obnoxious, obnoxiousity. Not sure if that's a word, but I think, I, I think you know what I mean. We're going to go back to this because uh, you're going to say, okay, uh, what else do we need to get a more complete Bidum picture? And yes, it is something that we had touched on in clip absorption one, uh, which was the HCP. Let's see what that's all about. I love it. Okay, so good. We got the first bidder. And this is sort of... Okay. You'll see. So I'm, now... Go ahead. I'm, you are the first bidder. Okay. So you, I would do... Oh, before you do it, does anybody wait, have a pen? Do you have a pay, pay, pen? Ooh, are we going to play points? Yeah. Yes, we're going to play points today. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, so what we're going to do is the very first person who does bid, mm -hmm. we are fortunate enough when you do play online mm -hmm. that they show the points for us. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to show you how you get those points. Okay. Okay, so just so, so you know what it is. And really it comes by our alphabet soup. So what's our alphabet soup? Ace, A-K-Q-J. A-K-Q-J, people are just- The royal court. You're gonna write this, you're gonna write this down. I would go ahead and write it down for each one of you just so you have it. Or you can write it on here so all of us see it, that's fine. Oh. In fact, yeah, let's turn it like this. Make right. it easy for everybody. Okay. Since that's the right part of it. Okay. You put A. Okay. Below A, put four. Three, two, one. Ooh. Show our camera. There's our camera. There it is right there. <laughs> so that actually is what it is. Okay. Okay. And I don't know if anybody watched the HCP yeah. Yes. Yes. I did. Then uh, I didn't know what that meant, but uh, oh. North told me it is high cards possible. Uh, well, what does that mean? Uh, it's actually high cards probable. 
What, what would you consider these numbers? Points. That's it. High card, High card points. points. That's oh, it. Oh, okay. High so, I, I thought in the beginning because in bowling and any a lot of baseball statistics, HCP is handicap. Well, yeah, mm. that's right. And I was talking, to, I was like, that's what I was telling her. Yes, handicap. And that's then true. my friend over there said no it's not it's this and i went oh okay uh, i just <laughs> whenever you look at stats like that it was always handicap yeah and so it's high card points high card points huh. and so and i okay. just i use the Did alphabet not know that. i just use the alphabet soup for us to remember what it okay. what it is so what you're looking for when you are the first bidder or potential first bidder even if it gets passed over to you mm -hmm. is that you want in your hand to count up to 12 or 13 points. If you're below that and you're the first bidder, pass. Okay, really, I didn't that's, know that. But now, for instance, if West, let's say, does one club, and that equals how many tricks? Eight. So, that's it, <laughs> six trick threshold. And it equals seven, but if West has one club, which now I know that A, West has 12 or more points in her hand, and that B, she has at least four clubs in her hand and has some alphas. Okay, just two. wait. Tell me 12 or more points. You yeah. said if you don't have 12 points, you should not the wait. first. If you're the first bidder. If you're the first bidder. In, yes. in one suit? Or spread throughout your hand. Spread yeah, throughout the hand. These are not suit centric. You're, they are. Well, I like that suit centric. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like, like that a suit okay. <laughs> They are. No, I like the way you said okay. that. It sounded good. Okay. okay. <laughs> not suit centric. This is just the in general the face. Yeah. yeah. So you you are you are correct, North, in the sense that in your complete hand, not just in one suit. So if Wes gives me one club and it comes around to me, me as East, what do I think that West has in her hand? I'm asking both North, North how many, if which, she bid one club, one club, and it comes to me, what, do, what am I as her partner? What do I think she has? Doesn't have to be necessarily exactly what oh. she has, but what do we, what do I, um, so HCP wise, what do I think that she has? Of uh, twelve or, or more. Oh yeah. So so yes. So this is a new way of thinking, thinking because I was trying to figure it out when I was playing on the like and I was like, oh, if I have, I was just doing alphabet soup. So if I have some alphabet yeah. of a club yeah. diamond and i'm like oh i have some alphabets yeah. in the diamond so i will say one diamond yeah but i wasn't looking at the whole, the whole thing hand yeah. and counting up all the points and you don't necessarily have to do it online because okay. they just do it for you oh. basically if you're playing online just just look at the hcp and if it's 12 or above and you're the first bidder bet got it bid. so yeah so i okay. would i have had 11 high uh card card points in my hand but i was just like yeah this is fun i'm bidding this <laughs> and of course i lost but i didn't know you know but but that's just, you could win, win i i am still bid i'll do my see points, that's so that's a good thing too so it's not a stringent rule but it's, it's just a nice thing to start with yes mm -hmm. but you did say sometimes they don't allow you to bid right if um if you don't have enough points like oh no you can places. you can bid well because if you if you go play bridge somewhere and you somewhere. play it live mm -hmm. and and you got zero points in your hand your partner's not probably not gonna be too happy with you that you, <laughs> yeah. that you did a bid yeah you're like yeah. what is this this is you're just and, and trust me there, risk. and trust me there can be zero points i played the other day and i had zero points in my hand wow. i had nothing wow. uh, uh, but i just i just kind of put that across just so we get okay. so in other words so it's like what, rule of thumb and so something put, to kind of write down this also put yeah. down here 12 or 13. Sorry. This will give us kind of... And I'm trying... I, I, 
no, not you're, have best trust me, penmanship. You're, you're so in other words, what I'm looking for here, since we're doing the HCP, mm -hmm. okay, for everybody looking at this, mm -hmm. if you were the first bidder, you're the first person who actually makes a bid on the hand, mm -hmm. you're looking at these numbers and you're looking them to add up to 12 or 13. Now, the reason why I use 12 or 13 is this, is because, well, as as my I told you the story about my wife and I playing on the cruise ship, uh -huh. there were some of them who liked 12 points and some of them who liked 13 points. It's just the way they thought. And, and then you could kind of you, like, oh. You could fudge it. Yeah. And I've done it before, which I've done 11, stuff yeah. like that. But it's just sort of a standard. My thing is like, if you're a little more adventurous, you go 12. If you're very conservative, you go 13. Okay. That's, that's really what it is. So, strategy. So going back to you, North, using the strategy of this, that you need to have 12 or 13 HCP mm -hmm. high card points in your hand. If West bids one club, me as her partner, what do I know? Yes, that she has either 12 or 13 points in her hand. And what about the clubs? What else do I know about her clubs? Hopefully. Go ahead. I would think that maybe she's got at Some least two of these there. alphabets in there. Yes, okay. She probably has one or two of those alphabets in her hand. And how many of those cards in that suit do you think she probably has? Four or five? That's good. That's okay. it. That's it. Okay. Okay. Now, I may have a crappy hand. And so, but if it comes around to me and I don't have 12 HCP, that's okay. If I have, let's say three clubs to support her, mm -hmm. I'll bet two clubs, even though I have a, okay. a crappy hand thinking, because- Okay, like she came out with one, so she's got some alphabet. Mm -hmm. She's had like, she has like four, uh, four, maybe five yes. of that suit. And maybe you have three, but it's not alphabet. She'll be the anchor for but, the team that round. But I like that anchor. That's a yeah. good. That's a good. Okay. Good word for. It. So I'm just. I'll be the supporter, even though that that she ba basically Wes is the alpha yeah. in yeah. this hand. Uh, I'll be. I'll be happy to support. So, uh, say, go she's ahead. She's showing the confidence. Right? So yes. if you had like, oh my goodness, she just did one club and the only club i have is a uh, two yeah um okay i guess i i don't think i'm gonna be very supportive no. but i have like five of another card maybe i'll do a different one yes. and if i don't even have five of anything and i'm just i might have to just pass but at the same time like you said if yeah. you have four or five or something else and if it comes around to me and Wes has done clubs and we talked about going up the ladder to get to going Empty. up, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Going up the ladder. Okay. So I may have the diamond or the heart and to be able to go back, go up the ladder from that to give Wes a hint that, hey, I'm strong in hearts, you're struggling in clubs. Maybe she's strong in spades and diamonds and she'll go NT on me. Ooh. Yeah. So that's sort of, we're kind of taking the lesson from last lesson and this, and so this, this, this becomes more important when you're playing online, you, we're doing it here live. So we'll kind right. of count it ourselves. We'll right. take our time as we're doing it yeah. online. It will give you that, those numbers. Okay. Well, hopefully the laser wasn't that much of an, uh, I hope it didn't get in your way while we were going through this. I uh, hope you enjoyed that and got something out of it. In fact, let's do a little redundancy equals retention. Yeah, uh, okay, here's those lovely alpha cards, or as uh, South was talking about, alphabet cards. Let's go over it. Ace equals four points. King equals three points. Queen equals two points. And Jack equals one point and we got to see well without the cards but we got to see those numbers actually written down on the middle of the card table yeah uh our true high tech my friends <laughs> now but but glenn what's what's the reason for this yes or no what's the yes or no what's that well hey okay we know that 12 or 13 points it's it's what we're supposed to bid 
but really. Hey, hey, who wants to play? Yeah, sometimes you want to play that 11 HCP. Use your own card sense. Use your own instincts. Yes, 12 or 13 is a great foundation, but not the absolution. 11 HCP. And there are many who are very stringent. Uh, it has to be 12 or 13, you know, depending on... Now, when I say absolution, sorry, I'm going to skip that for a second. <laughs> because I actually use the word absolution. <laughs> it's not the absolution, the rule of thumb. You know, sometimes to get to the fruition, you have to go ahead and do a little experimentation. Now, let's see what happens on that 11 HCP. 11 HCP. And there are many who are very stringent. Uh, it has to be 12 or 13, you know, depending on their bridge belief. <laughs> Ah, that's just so borderline. And here we are very well-rounded, and we got this alpha in here. So going over the HCP points, just so we see again, we got alpha A here, so that's four points here. King is three points. Queen is two points, so that's four, seven, nine. Then we got a jack, which will make it 10 points. That's one point for the jack and one more point for the jack, giving us our 11 points. And yes, we are a little bit short from what they would consider doing uh, a bid for this. And, but I want to give, since we are so close and we're so well-rounded, I want to go ahead and give my partner a clue. So I went ahead and went with one diamond. Okay, they passed. And then my partner went with one spade. And I think it gave my partner a little more confidence, even though they were kind of light in the spades, even though they did have an alpha. Uh, but knowing that there's some other support, and sometimes that's kind of will get you when you're on the board line. If you got a little more support, you may go that extra mile. So they passed. And yeah, we got three passes in a row now. And let's see how this plays out. I will go ahead, go through this pretty rapid until the very end here. So let's go through it. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Uh, that's our first one. That's theirs. That's ours. That's theirs. So two, two tie here. Now we're gonna keep on going here. And, and we can see here that we're in good shape. We got five of the seven tricks that are needed. We threw out a five of diamonds. They got a diamond here. They got some diamonds here. And we got the ace of diamonds. So hey, we're gonna go ahead and take that one. Then we come out with the seven hearts. They got hearts, they got hearts, but we got the ace of hearts. Nice. And basically we're gonna end up with about another couple tricks here. There's eight and I believe we get the last one giving us nine tricks instead of just seven. Yeah, that was good. And just, just want to emphasize these names here. Yeah, these are bots, okay? If they weren't bots and this was actual live play, which we had done uh, in another vlog, I would go ahead and actually blur out these names, but just wanted you to get a clue that, hey, we like to keep things anonymous, or if you see the people's names, they are bots. Okay, well, here was the hand, and yes, uh, elected to go ahead and say 11 HCP. Okay, Sal said, you know what? Okay, I'm so close. So they went with the one diamond. And I'm going to throw out this little tidbit. Uh, when you're on the border like that, uh, maybe just to help out your partner make a bid because if they are on the fence which actually north was because these spades they're not really strong okay you just got one alpha here but when you have told your partner hey i got some diamond strength here 
then that means you got some supporting strength for making that one spade bid. And that's exactly what Sal had done. So, hey, uh, okay, we're getting a good handle. Uh, that 12 or 13 is not necessarily the rule of thumb, okay? We can go ahead and kind of try to fudge it a little bit. And here we go, just to kind of put in our brains again, this is a nice little chart that you can download at the end. And going back to our fun little pin, well, well, let's see, we'll use our pin here, but we're gonna do black this time, okay? Okay, so we know that ace is four points, king is three points, queen is two points, and jack is one points. So let's see what we got in our hand. We got one ace, okay? That's okay, because that's how many are in your hand. How many kings do we have? We got one king. Okay, one king. Not the best writing in the world, but we'll go with it. Queens, we got one queen. Okay. And we got one, two jacks. Okay, two jacks. Okay, with this chart, it's nice. You can get your HCP. This is great for when you're actually playing uh, live on a table with human beings. And so we got four times one, because that's four points there. We got that equals four. Then we have the king, which is three times one. That equals three. We had one queen, two times one. That equals two. And one times two also equals two. And my way of counting, I go down the line. 4 plus 3 equals 7, 7 plus 2 equals 9, 9 plus 2 equals 11. That's just the way I do it. That is 11 HC points written pathetically. <laughs> but that's how I write it. Okay, uh, okay, okay, we're getting a more, you know, instinctual foundation kind of going on here. Uh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Glenn, where are we going here? Uh, I'm a little confused. Uh, you're showing me here a ladder with a thumbs up? Well, this is to segue us into our next vlog. And trust me, at the end, you will give it a thumbs up. So I'm going to put these cards out. And what are we going to do is we're going to have a little test because... I was just talking to North a little bit about this is we've gotten so used to I'll bid clubs, I'll bid diamonds, I'll be hearts, I'll do spades. But a lot of time we really just haven't been diving into this NT. And I want to give you a strategy how to go for the NT because NT is the top dog. Mm -hmm. It's the highest that you can actually bid. And there's a big reason for that, that especially uh, for you West, if you actually go play at, at some sort of facility or any one of you do, is that people are gonna be hitting that NT all day long mm. because they play by points and NT has the most points. Mm. Uh, so, but for you, we're not gonna do points, but I just want you to remember that NT is a big thing to actually go for. I just kinda of wanna teach you today how to go for that. Okay. And before I hand these cards out, cause I don't want anybody to look at them, okay. uh, is when North is actually gonna have his hand up because we're all gonna help him make the decision, okay? okay? All of us are gonna hold the other hand, oh, cards in our hand. And North, what you're gonna try to do is go, as we've been trying to do, you wanna go for the lowest hierarchy possible when you first start bidding. And the reason why you wanna go for it, why do you think you wanna go for the lowest hierarchy? And this is for your teammates. Uh, go ahead, Two. Give a chance, maybe you don't know what I have. So if you go with the lowest and then I can go above it, that gives you an indication of what I'm holding. Perfect. That's I like the, how, how you that was a perfect explanation. Yeah, okay. That's perfect. And and that's also gonna help us in the sense of why eventually you're gonna go for NT. And I'm, as I'm giving you these cards, at the very end, somewhere along the line, you are gonna go for NT. On this, these, this is, this is definitely. Oh, let me sure, make sure I get the right cards right here. Do I right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. 
I want to make sure I got the right cards to the right people. Okay. Okay. Okay, Wes is not going to like me for that card. Uh, <laughs> and make sure I got here. But it's to illustrate it's to the illustrate. technique. Yes. So we're all going to hold these cards in the hand, and I actually fairly put them in decent order. So you should be able to just lift them up and put them in your hand right now. And, and so are we supposed to put them in this order? No. Well, because it's just too confusing to put the hearts and the diamonds together because they just look too damn mm -hmm. similar. Mm -hmm. okay. So for organizing our hand-wise, we put it down. So you're going to put your hand down, North. Okay. Okay, for everybody to see. Ooh. And we are going to make it that you're the actual dealer. And it's because the dealer always what? The what? dealer bids. Who, bid, who bids first? The dealer? Yes. The dealer I wouldn't bids. see that, but oh, okay. my. And what we're looking for in our hand is alpha numeric. So what's the highest cards? Ace. Well, use the alpha in your mind. The letter the cards. The letters. That's it. The letter, the letter. cards. Perfect okay. explanation. Perfect a k qui q j okay. okay i probably didn't put i probably didn't put <laughs> sorry Wes, i didn't put yours in order i think i put stuff yeah, okay, okay. oh well the life about neglecting okay uh so all of us right now i want us to look at north's hand oh, yeah. okay i don't want north to make a decision yet but what we're looking what we're, do, we're trying to do is go up the ladder the lowest possible we can go until we can get to NT somehow, okay? But we'll also at the same time as- He's got a nice alphabet in every suit. Looking pretty good there, not bad mm -hmm. at all. So if you look at your alphabet soup and you look at your hierarchy, what's the lowest, what's the lowest uh, of the hierarchy, North? What's the lowest? Clubs. Okay, so I want, okay, West, South, which, which suit? should North bid on? Clubs. Okay, okay. So if you're bidding and we're doing these things, you wanna give, I think you used the word, uh, give your, uh, your teammate some rope to hang themselves with. Uh, 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 so what are you gonna bid on those clubs? One club. Yes, okay, one club. Okay, and I am going to pass. Now, you know that your partner has one club now, right? Mm -hmm. Look at your hierarchy. Well, I'm going to say one diamond. Perfect. That's perfect. West. And sure. that's signaling to him that he's got an alphabet and a club, and I got an alphabet exactly. and a diamond. So anytime someone bids something, you know they have an alphabet in somewhere. Okay. Okay. So, uh, West. I pass. Exactly. Okay. North. Okay. Now, what information do you have, North? And I want West and South to think of this information. West, what information does North have right now? That she's strong in diamonds. And what is North strong in? In clubs. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And yes, he's strong in... But you don't know that. Yeah, but he knows that. Yeah, but... So mm -hmm. he's going to look at his alphabet in the next one up, right? E e that's perfect. That's a perfect explanation. So did you hear what your partner said? Yes. So what would you do? One heart. Okay. Okay. And now you know that I'm a wise guy, right? Okay. So I'm going to say two hearts. Okay. Okay. So. Now remember. I just no, have, no, no, I don't no. tell you what I have. Don't, don't tell me how to, but look at it this way. You know that North has bid a heart. Mm -hmm. I bid two hearts. It doesn't make a lot of sense why I bid two hearts. And let's speculate, why the heck did I bid two hearts? To scare us away and pass. <laughs> See, yeah. that's a good idea, but you don't need to. What do you have in your hand? Well, I got an alphabet with those spades, and I'm going to go one spade. Well, and how, you remember, everything has to either go in hierarchy order oh, or in numerical two. order. Oh, you know what? I My alphabet can support two spades. So. Perfect. Hmm. Perfect. I pass. Okay, now this is what you have. you got the full-on ladder here. A lot of times you only get maybe three of the ladder. Mm -hmm. 
But what information do you have? Well, she's South has pretty good spades okay. to to uh, bid to. And, and and what is what else? And what else does South have? She she, she bid it before. The diamonds. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. And what do you have? I have good clubs mm -hmm. and hearts. Okay. Somewhat. So, like, so when you you're in that situation, you know that each one to combine together, you guys are strong in every single suit. Mm -hmm. And that is when you go to no. You go, go no Trump. No. Exactly. That is when you go to no Trump. And so at that point, you would bid. NT. NT, no Trump. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and so. Run the gamut. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can basically run the, run the gamut here. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass and pass. Okay. And just I'll before, pass. just before we do play in which, which, you know, I, I would start playing obviously before South would lay down, lay down their hand. In fact, I'm going to have you pick up your hand after this because we're all not going to remember everything you have in your hand. In fact, go ahead and pick up your hand right now because we know that you won with two spades. How yeah. many? You started the mess, remember? <laughs> <laughs> and we had three passes. So now the person to your, yeah. Perfect. And then I, after you play, I put down. Perfect. Okay. And now you, you won with two NT. How many tricks is that that you need to have? Um, Eight. Eight. Okay. How many tricks does West and East need to get to make sure you don't get eight tricks? Seven. Six. How many? Six, oh, how oh many, that's uh, right. How many tricks are in a hand? Five. Five. Well, how many tricks are in a hand? Six. Thirteen. 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 Perfect. Okay. Thirteen. So, so what you just said right there was perfect. Six because... No, no. Uh, Yes, you're correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. At first I was thinking seven because seven needs to win. But because we bid eight, if we don't get eight yeah. and we only get seven, seven. we're toast. Seven. Even though seven normally would win, be, win mm -hmm. but because we bid higher, so all you need now She had her, she had her witties this morning, didn't she? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. You're doing great. I love it. That's No, that's perfect. That's perfect. Uh, and, and the only, I know, I'm not going to give away, I'll give away at the very end the reason why. I don't know, can you guys speculate any reason why I went to hearts? Any reason at all? You probably have a lot to say. <laughs> um, okay. Maybe you have an ace of hearts. Okay. And a king of hearts. Okay. Maybe to throw him off. Okay, that's, that's two really good reasons. Uh, there's one possible other reason that we... Oh, you have with. a singleton. That's the other third reason. So there's there's the three reasons right there. Okay. Throw them off, singleton, a lot of hearts in my hand. Yeah, a lot of hearts in my hand. But also just want to put across here, we get to see this throughout the video. And we've spoken about this, but I just want to emphasize it. And uh, South actually mentioned in the sense that, oh, usually you have to get to seven uh, tricks before you'd actually win the hand. And we call that going above the six trick thresholds. That's like stepping over. And so that was the reason why I was asking North, hey, you got two NT, which is two no Trump. That's what you won with. How many tricks do you need? Does you and your two, <laughs> I like that. I should have drank my coffee again. Your teammate, you and your teammate needs how many when you have over the six trick threshold? plus two NT, what's that equal? And he got it, eight tricks. Marvelous, yeah, okay. Well, hey, we got to go up that ladder. Yes, they went each rung, club, then diamond, then heart, then spades, to get to the magical NT, no trump. Now, we didn't count the HCP in this video, but uh, well, let's take a quick look and yeah, we're going to go ahead and do a little count here. And we're going back to our pan as we all like. I want it to be black again. But let's take a look up. This is north and this is south. 
So we're going to do north on the top here. So north has one, two, they got two aces. Okay, again, excuse the writing. How many kings do they have? They got one king here. That's the only one I see. So one king. Okay. Queens, let's see. We got one. I only see one queen here. Okay. You can correct me later in the comments if I got this wrong. <laughs> uh, jacks, we got one, two. Three. Wow, we got four jacks. Okay, so let's go ahead and count this up, see if we got this right. Okay, we got two. That's eight there. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing like a little, yeah, like little kids do the two round circles to make an eight. We got three, so that's 11 there. Okay. And we got two two no no we got one queen so that's two points and we got one point equals a jack we have four of those wow so we got four and let's see if we go in line let's see what we got here if i got this right uh okay we got eight eleven thirteen it looks like we got 17 points here. Okay, take a look at that again. Yeah, two ways. Yeah, I believe that's what we got. Okay, now let's take a look at South's hand here. Okay, they got one, two aces. All right. And this is just to kind of get you used to using the chart. Mostly you're going to be writing much faster than I'm doing here. How many kings do we have one two kings okay looking good okay queens we got one and we got two okay we don't have any jacks wow that's some terrible writing <laughs> but let's go ahead and add these up we got this that equals eight two times four equals eight and there goes my uh Childlike eight there. <laughs> Three times two equals six. I'm going to write over here just because I ran out of room a little bit. And then we got two times two. That equals four. Okay. So we got eight, 14, 18 points here. Okay. And there's my fun little eight again as I can't help myself. And, uh, yeah, you know, when you add this up, you got 17 plus 18. Okay. Whoa, I really got out of bounds there, didn't I? Woohoo! And that equals 45. Oh, yeah, uh, they're not going to be have me come to the chalkboard very often in school, are they? <laughs> We're going to get back to that pointer because I'm just pitiful at the writing here. But really, when we look at it, okay, is that, oh, I'm sorry, that's 35. <laughs> look at that. Teacher can't add. Ah, but the teacher has an eraser. So let's get rid of that. Let's go ahead and put the pointer back on. See, I make mistakes too. That's 35. Okay, that's 35 points. Okay, uh, uh, I'm going to tell you right now that there is only 40 HC points possible that you could possibly get in a hand, and they got 35. Now, <laughs> I don't know about you, but north and south, that's a whooping. Not the crane, but yeah, uh, no problem for north and south. Being able to hit that 2NT, which again, equals 8 tricks. Okay, uh, yeah, you know, we have, yeah, we've definitely gone over the clip absorption. Here's our first clip absorption. That's what we did last week. And clip absorption too. Now we got a sound fundamental of all the lessons that we have done combined in these two clip absorption, 
clip absorption too, so that you can kind of go back whenever you feel lost and listen to all those. Let's let's do like a quick little recap here. Okay, uh, last the first clip absorption, we went over organize and hierarchy. What a trick is lucky at thirteen. Win, lose demeanor. And we can see they have a really nice calm demeanor here. All our players. High, low, inflatable wrench, trump cards, and trickster cards. And we went over HCP, which is the high card points, NT, which is no trump. And we went over the bit of hierarchy. And we got the bonus of climbing up the ladder each rung. Uh, going clubs, diamonds, hearts, spades, until we eventually got the top dog, the NT. We really got some great examples, uh, some great strategies going here. And so, but you know, okay, we got this, Glenn, but speaking of future vlogs, what's on the horizon? Well, we got a really good example on the bit portion, but would like to go ahead and get into something called the Rule of 20. We briefly went over this in another vlog, but I want to get a little bit of deeper into it so you get a little deeper into the understanding. Yeah. And yes, we're going to go back into our ebook, Bridge Be Boring. And we are going to go ahead and go over, you know, playing that high, we going high, low. We were talking about that high card mentality of taking a trick. Don't always have to do that. Sometimes we want to do just a little finesse. And uh, yeah, it's very important to, to do that as we will see during trickster cards when we play on trickster cards. Well, I do want to thank you so much because, <laughs> yes, I'm going to put this across too. Where's the points? Because we went over HCP points. In our future vlogs, it's only fair, not to be feared, but it's only fa fair that we go into the lovely other points that are actually in the game of bridge. And we will do that using uh, trickstercards.com during a live play. Uh, so again, but thank you so much for viewing and please click subscribe.